2016 is definitely going to be an interesting year. It is, of course, going to be the year where we finally see the very first VR headsets come to consumer hands. Now, while it's probably going to take VR a while to get started, 2016 is still going to be key. And I have a couple of comments from a couple of people regarding VR. First of all is AMD Chief Executive Lisa Su. And she made a few comments basically saying that the buzz and interest in VR headsets could actually help boost PC sales in 2016. And she said, quote, The PC gaming market strength helped fuel a richer graphics processing unit mix and improved demand for a high-end Radeon R9 series in the quarter. We expect this momentum to continue throughout 2016 as Oculus and HTC begin shipping consumer-ready VR headsets. The buzz and interest in VR is an exciting trend that is focusing the software industry's attention and some of its brightest minds back on the PC platform. While the initial wave of VR will be focused on gaming, an increasing number of developers see VR as the most significant advancement in how we interact with technology since the introduction of the mouse and graphical user interface. Most importantly, these breakthrough software experiences will only be enabled on high-performance, energy-efficient GPUs. And as well as this, we had some comments from Sony Computer Entertainment Japan and Asia President Atsushi Morita, and he spoke with Famitsu in an interview which was published today. Now, according to him, the first most important element is to make players feel like they're in the game. Of course, immersion is definitely key for anything, whether it's VR or no. He also wants to convey the depth of the potential of the headset, of course, meaning the PlayStation VR, as he doesn't want it to end shortly after beginning with a boom. So essentially, Sony are looking to make the PlayStation VR a long-running thing. They don't want it to just be a fad that pans out and then just kind of disappears, kind of like the Wii. Like, it changed things for a while. It was a big sort of upheaval towards motion controls, but well, there's still some sort of outliers. Mostly, it's not really as big as it was. Now, a key element of the equation as to whether or not VR is going to be successful is naturally going to be supporting game developers. According to Marita, whether the world will be interested in VR or not will depend on the imagination of those who create games. It's also important to welcome ideas that aren't games and to plan carefully on what kind of experiences should be sold and in what order. And again, he, reiter he reiterated sorry, that he wants to make sure that PlayStation VR is not just a boom. Rather than a fad, he'd like PlayStation VR to become an established entertainment experience. And he feels it's one of the elements that can contribute to achieve the idea of, quote, everyone's PlayStation. And naturally, they're also planning on it being a key selling point for the PlayStation 4. And obviously, it's pretty a pretty nice one for Sony if they can get a good headset out into the market that's perhaps cheaper than the Oculus. Of course the price was a bit of a shock for many people and of course we don't know the price of the PSVR just yet but one way they could edge out because obviously they can't match the power of a PC is to of course be cheaper and perhaps more accessible for gamers and people in general. Of course you've got the price of the console but given how many PS4s have sold Having a cheaper headset would definitely be a little bit of a leg up, but as I've said, Oculus, the price is a problem, or a concern rather than a problem, but I don't think that's necessarily going to be the death knell of the VR or even of Oculus. It's going to be for the power user at first, but that's the same with any new technology. As I said in my Oculus video, when DVD players first came out, they were obscenely expensive, same with Blu-ray, and of course it makes sense that it would be the same case with VR. So at first, yes, it's going to be for the niche, the power user, but I think over time we're definitely going to see VR in general, you know, even if on PC, Xbox One, whatever, doesn't matter, become cheaper, more accessible, especially as manufacturing becomes less expensive. Still, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.